circular economy will work very well if it's applied to certain specific materials. I don't think it will work on every single material that's, that's available to us. I think it, it's going to be very difficult. So I think we need to, particularly in the IT sector, we need to concentrate very much on plastics. Uh, those are our big challenge areas. And I think what we need is the plastics recyclers really to behave more like professional commodity suppliers. I don't want a load of mixed shredded plastic. I'm looking for very specific plastic types that meet very specific specifications. Uh, and uh, so I think that's how we can make it work, is really by those who are consuming materials, uh, creating markets for those who are generating the secondary materials, those who are generating the secondary materials to behave in a very professional way to create that consistency, quality and quantity that the big manufacturers are looking for. The notion of a circular economy uh, is, 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 is one that is very relevant to the, to the waste and the resource industry. I think the challenges it poses are, are, are many and numerous. Our organisation specifically uh, deals with electrical waste, battery waste and, and, and packaging, so where we're a producer compliance scheme. So a lot of what we do is, is, is around reuse and, and recycling at end of life. Uh, the original sort of intention of the WE Directive itself was to, to, to promote design for recycling. How much of that has happened, I'm not, I'm not too sure, because ultimately a lot of the material that we get under the current sort of network, under the current system, is from civic community sites. And, and one of the truisms in, uh, in, in the UK is if it's not raining today, it's probably going to be raining very soon. So, so in certain areas we work to try and capture the stuff that we can get for, for reuse. But in the recycling element of what we do, the focus there is on extracting as much value as you can and, 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 and we're supporting innovations with our supply chain partners to, 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 to increase the value uh, by isolating and getting cleaner materials. That recycling route is very relevant and I think sometimes it actually gets underestimated. There is a focus on reuse and, re and remanufacture. The waste hierarchy is obviously very important but the recycling bit of this is already delivering a lot of benefit to a circular economy thinking. A lot of work is going on in this area I and mean, I have an involvement with, with RAP which I think has been brilliant at working with manufacturers and designers to try and make sure that products are recyclable and also you know, reduce the amount of waste created in the process. Businesses are in business to make um, uh, profits so I think we need to do things in a way that they find is economically attractive to it and I think there are, there are various things that can be done with, with some sort of large bits of, of goods or machinery. I think um, leasing models may perhaps uh, produce an economically beneficial model for them or designing out waste in sort of construction or, or manufacturing of course has a, a cost saving um, element to it so uh, it's something that you're right we have to bear in mind we don't have all the answers yet but certainly it's worth thinking about.